Welcome back everybody. Uh, quick video today and it's just making a jump through bind. Um, there have been a lot of videos on this but none of them are concise and really show you how to do it. They're all super long and it gets confusing. So we're just going to make this one. It's probably going to be under two minutes. Hopefully under a minute 30. So this is the actual jump throw um, and it's pretty simple. You're making a alias to plus jump throw minus jump throw to the same key. Um, and then this is whatever key that you want. This will be in this, the description. All you have to do is copy, paste this. Simple as that. Now you're going to want to copy and paste it here. Let's minimize that. You're going to want to copy and paste it into your auto execute.cfg file. And that can be found. Um, you can either look at this string or go to the hard drive on which CSGO is downloaded on and installed. I would suggest if you don't have it on your primary hard drive have it on your primary hard drive i've had issues with having it on a secondary or third um, hard drive so program files 86 steam steam apps common csgo csgo cfg all right and so once again that is the string that will also be in the description so now you have your auto execute file um, if you've never done this before you will have nothing in here but the reason why I have so much shit is this is a, this is jump throw. This is just the shit around it. It's random stuff. Um, this is my binding of my mouse to voice enable zero and decals and chain, well, clear decals and like voice enable zero and then one. So it changes um, and also making a noise. That's why sometimes if you hear me play though, doo -doo -doo, that's me changing voice enable. Um, and then this is me changing my crosshair to a smoke lineup crosshair. But all you really need are these three and again those will be in the description so you save this close it launch cs easy fucking peasy 